to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. And I did a drive home uh, from Hitafi one time uh, in the daylight, so I thought I'd do a drive home tonight in the dark since I just dropped Marcel off. Kind of give everybody an idea of what it's like driving at night in the Philippines. And this particular vehicle I'm driving, which is my friend Dwayne's, has got really tight steering. You can't uh, gently move the wheel. His front end is not uh, well aligned. I think it needs to be towed in a bit. So that's why the wheels, I'm having to jerk the steering wheel around so much. Things you will notice as I'm driving home uh, are just people meandering along on the road. And the lack often of uh, tail lights, rear rear lights on a vehicle. And I'm just going to take it home. I'm just going to take it easy. It's going to be a nice slow drive home. I might edit out some of this video uh, because a 20 minute nighttime video is like who cares. not to get in a hurry driving in the Philippines at any time but especially at night fairly light going the way that I'm going but it's almost bumper to bumper going the other way so they must be everybody's going to the festival in Ubai maybe if Joseph Seeley or not Joseph Seeley but uh, Brian Ahern watches this video he can tell me what's going on over there and Joseph seems to know everything anyway, he might know. So Joseph, you know what's going on in Dubai. Give me a shout out. You can see I'm poking along at 50 kph, which is about 35 miles an hour. People will often drive faster than that here at night. And I've heard of the van drivers going quite a bit faster, up to 140 kph, is about 85. Uh, but to me, to me, that's just uh, asking for uh, an early grave.
shut the camera off to have mercy on people a little bit so I could uh, work my high beams up and down. But this is a pretty good example here of what you'll find, no tail lights. And they're going about 35 kph. And there's four people on the motorcycle and a child. There goes a dog. Uh, so if you're cruising along at 80 or 90 kph and you come along someone with no tail light going 30 or 35, that can be a bit of a problem. And oftentimes, uh, it's a bit late right now, but sometimes if you're driving home about 30 minutes after dark, it's probably an hour, hour and a half after dark right now. But if you're going home like 30 minutes after dark, you'll see people uh, driving their tractors home. Uh, and they have no lights whatsoever. And they're going 7 or 8 kph. And that'll really get you taking a deep breath if you come along one of those and you're motoring along pretty good. And here's a tricycle with no tail lights. It's pretty common, I'd say 10 or 15 percent of the vehicles here don't have tail lights. And probably 30 or 40 percent of the commercial vehicles don't have brake lights.